So this will be installed tomorrow, shower doors as well as baseboard. Let's show you what we've got done since part one here. All right, real quick. Sometime this year, we're gonna be removing all this tile, installing some eight inch by 48 inch planks, very, Horrible install. Let me show you how you can tell. Do you hear that? All of these tiles are hollow. Bad install. All right, here we go. Bath and shower tile ideas episode 26, part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave it in the link description below. We're gonna hang this mirror today. It's a large LED lighted mirror. The floor is done, nice and flat. Eight by 40, eight inch planks. So again, we have to clean it, prep it. We're gonna grout this floor today. Looks wonderful. Now the best part of this porcelain plank floor is that it is absolutely seamless as you can see here. Flows right into the bathroom and right into the shower. Let's turn this off here. Okay, so all of the tile work is done. You might notice this here, we installed our Schluter Ron deck, it was the white PVC, the customer didn't like it. After it was installed, not a problem. We pulled it off. We're gonna have to clear it out. We're gonna install Schluter Jolly brush nickel to match the finishes, but you can check that out there. These walls are absolutely and extremely flat with zero lippage. Here's the window, mitered left, right, top with a solid surface quartz for the sill. Here's the recessed shampoo niche. Very clean, tight, seamless, mitered niche. As you can see our layout, full tiles right up to the niche. Solid surface for the sill. Quartz with a little bit of movement and veins in it. Glass inlay. Extremely clean and tight mitered porcelain joints. No buildup in the corners. Looks wonderful, looks great. We have our 100% silicone in the corners of the shower, white to match. Let's show you our shower head, brushed nickel, handheld, trim kit right here. Everything in here is square, clean, and here's the shower pan. Fantastic color grout by Prism, blended all of the grout lines in. Our proper slope, I'll show you up close here. So what have we done so far? We grouted, we have to still seal our grout lines. We installed a four inch can here. We also installed a vent fan. Okay, so what's left to do, fairly simple, within the next uh, day or two, finish up some drywall, paint, install our floating vanity here, top, faucet, install our large LED vanity mirror, and we're also gonna install a decorative light up here. So this job's almost done, almost wrapped up. We're gonna get to work today and finalize everything tomorrow.
Okay, welcome back guys to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 26. Finalized and completed. From the floor to baseboard to vanity, shower, here we go. So here's the floor, bedroom floor. Everything's completed. We have our baseboard installed, painted. Here is the bathroom. We've got our LED mirror here. Let's turn some lights on. Again, vent fan, four inch can. So again, we've got our push button LED, large vanity mirror. We installed a decorative light. Let's turn that on here. Here's the decorative light, crystals. Nice ambient light. Okay, here is the vanity, floating vanity. Black in color, soft closed drawers, one piece Corian top. We installed some glass backsplash with our Jolly trim. Here's the faucet. Again, one piece vanity and sink. Very easy to clean and maintain. Installed a new toilet here, of course, baseboard throughout. Let's take a look at the shower. We'll open it up here. We just finished up with everything. Barn style shower doors. Took a couple hours to install, but not too bad. We've got our Jolly trim on the edges of the shower walls. Again, shower head. Flat walls, 12 by 24 white. This is a seal system, 100%. Waterproof shower, again, large format shower pan tile, eight by 48 with a Schluter tileable drain. Proper pitch, proper slope, fantastic drainage. Here's our trim kit. Let's turn on the shower here. Curbless barrier free. Again, the recessed shampoo niche. Tight clean miters around the niche. Glass inlay. Solid surface quartz for the sill. Straight pattern, everything is symmetrical. Full tiles right up to the bottom of the niche. And that's pretty much it, guys. This one is a wrap. A fantastic looking bath and shower. The customer is extremely happy. They can't wait to move back into their bedroom and bathroom. So. As usual, thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you on the next one.